All right, what's happening, y'all? It's your Rico from Street Scores, and it's time to take a look at all of the power rankings for the Washington Commanders around just the entire internet, really. I plan on doing this every week from now on, so let me know in the comment section if you want me to continue updating y'all on where we rank on all of the various power ranking websites and analysts and, and everywhere on the internet, broadcast, media, all of that type of stuff. Let me know if you want me to continue this series. But again, this is a video breaking down what everybody has to say and everybody's opinions on where we are and where we stand in the nfl right now of course after a loss to the detroit lions we went down on most power rankings but we'll see how that goes but before we dive into all of that make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the bell next to the subscription button so you get a notification immediately and every time i release an informative and opinionated video just like this one make sure you pull up every friday for the broadcast podcast where we talk about everything funny going on sports music gaming anime whatever also make sure you pull up every sunday for the during the game live streams where i break down everything that's going on live while we're watching the game together including this upcoming matchup against the eagles and then make sure you pull up for the post game live streams that i will probably continue doing on mondays where i have the call-in show y'all call in and voice your opinions but without further ado let's get it All right, so after an L like that, we can't expect to be very high on most people's boards. Just to go ahead and get it out the way, our highest position on all of these different websites and, and media and analysts is 20. The lowest we have is a 28. So, you know, that, that's not too good. We were looking pretty good last week after the victory over the Jaguars. And then even now, if you don't include that Lions loss, the way the Jaguars beat up on the Colts, that should have made us look better if we could have handled business against the Lions. But not only because we lost to the Lions, but the way that we lost against them, especially the way we looked in that first half, I'm pretty sure a lot of teams were like, eh, nah, I'm probably wrong about them. And we're going to discuss that. So, starting from the highest to the lowest, the place that has us the highest, number 20, is number fire. Then 21, we have two places that we're ranked 21st. We have USA Today by Davis. He says solid start for QB Carson Wentz, who leads the NFC in passing yards 650 and touchdowns with seven. They had us last week 19, so we went down two spots for them. Then Winnebet, they had us ranked 20th last week, now we're 21st. They said give the commanders credit for battling against the Lions and hanging around despite trailing 22 to 0 at one point. However, if you ever find yourself trailing 22 to 0 to the Lions, how good could you possibly feel about your performance? And that's a great point. Then 22nd in the power rankings, Fox News writer Gatos had us ranked 10th last week. Now has us all the way down on 22nd after how we looked against the Lions. So that's a really big drop. That's probably the biggest drop out of any of them. He probably had us the highest last week, 10th in the NFL. Sounds great, man. But hey, man, we lost all of his trust. Again, we're all the way down 12 spots lower to 22. So even one of the very few people that believed in us in the national media now is like, nah, I was tripping. I should have never had them that high anyway, which does kind of suck, man. We're letting a lot of people down. Even Chris Sims on his podcast, he predicts every game and then he'll review games afterwards as well and he actually predicted us to beat the lions which i was pretty surprised by because most people didn't and then we let him down as well so that kind of sucks and i'm pretty sure everybody's gonna have us losing against the eagles i'm pretty sure there's not one analyst out there especially a neutral or national media analyst that has us winning against the eagles so again it sucks that we lost the trust of a lot of people that kind of believed in us heading into that lions game then we have several websites that ranked us 23rd you have athlon sports you have sports not who had us 21st last week athlon sports had us ranked 18th last week my fault for not saying that immediately bleacher report had us 22nd last week they have us 23rd now the ringer continued to have us 23rd this week mercury news had us 22nd last week now they have us 23rd then out of the rank 24th you have the athletic with wolf he had us ranked 13th last week but now he has us ranked 24th after the loss to the lions he said week two was another reminder that every football sunday is guaranteed to deliver something you've never seen before the dolphins browns and cardinals delivered the most memorable moments washington gave us the funniest in trying to claw back from a 14-point deficit, Ron Rivera opted for the analytically supported move to go for a two-point conversion after scoring a touchdown. 
The thinking goes, if converting a two-point conversion is about a 50-50 proposition, converting the two-pointer initially gives you a chance to win the game if you score again. If not, you can still go for two to tie the score later. Alas, not only did the commanders fail to convert, but they also surrendered a quick Lions touchdown and then hilariously missed the extra point on their final touchdown of the game. Credit Carson Wentz for spreading the wealth on offense through two games. Six different commanders had at least 70 yards receiving through two weeks, the most in the league. Again, he had us ranked 13th last week, one of the very few people that believed in us in the national media. Now he has us ranked 24th. Probably won't make that mistake again until we start to win some games. Yahoo Sports. Another website that had us ranked 24th. They had us 22nd last week. The score had us ranked 23rd last week. Also have us ranked 24th this week. They said the Carson Wentz experience was always going to be a roller coaster ride. But there have been more thrills than stomach turning moments so far. Wentz has thrown for 650 yards with seven touchdowns to three interceptions through two games. An honorable mention should also go to rookie Jahan Dotson, who's caught three touchdowns. Yahoo Sports said the amount of explosive plays the commanders allowed to the Lions on Sunday was troubling. Washington had a really good defense two years ago, but that seems to be long gone. They're not going to have a ton of success this season trying to win shootouts. I actually think that's the only way we can win at this point with the way our defense is looking. And then Sporting News from Iyer had us ranked 20 25th last week has us ranked 24th this week so we went up one spot but that's probably because other teams just fell that far they said the commander's defense is an absolute schematic and personnel mess further exposed without chase young that's taken away from a loaded offense that has looked much more dangerous with Carson Wentz. Then Covers.com had us 22nd last week. Now we're 24th this week as well for them. Then, as far as there's websites to have us ranked 25th, you have Pro Football Network Miller over there said, maybe the Detroit Lions are better than we think. Maybe the Washington defense will find its way at some point this season, but Sunday was not that day. The commanders allowed seven yards per play against Detroit and made Jared Goff look like it was 2018 and Sean McVay was calling plays. Something's got to give. The defense underwhelmed a season ago and continued that trend through two weeks. Their offense looks much improved from a season ago, but if they can't stop anybody, they won't find themselves rising in the NFL power rankings anytime soon. He had us ranked 24th last week and 24th this week. New York Post had us ranked 21st last week, now 25th. Odd Shark had us ranked 20 third last week and now 25th then you have espn who has us ranked 26th they said biggest early adjustment limit the big plays washington's defense has allowed the nfl high four plays of 40 yards or more in two games with three coming versus detroit on sunday the commanders have an explosive offense that can help them compete all season but the defense needs to reduce the big plays almost always a result of an individual breakdown good point Sometimes it's a young defensive back taking a bad angle or playing the wrong coverage. Sometimes it's a couple of guys messing up a play. Washington has dealt with some injuries on defense, so that hasn't helped, but the coaching staff needs to quickly develop its young talent or scrap some of its aggressive plans or the season could be derailed. And that's coming from John Kahn himself on ESPN. ESPN had us ranked 20th last week, 26th this week. Walter Football had us ranked 24th last week, 26th this week as well. They said the Redskins could easily be 0-2 right now if the Jaguars didn't shoot themselves in the foot repeatedly in week one. They struggled against a Detroit team that was missing three offensive linemen and a starting cornerback. Great point. This was not a good look for them. Making matters worse, center Chase Roulier could be out for the year. Then the 33rd team with Domowicz had us ranked 23rd last week, have us ranked 26th this week. They said good news. Wins has thrown seven touchdown passes in his first two starts with Washington. That's a 59-yard pace. He's thrown more than 27 just once in his career, 33 in 2017. So right now, it looks like he's on pace to potentially have his best season of his career. But then bad news. The commanders are giving up a hefty 7.5 yards per carry on the ground. Nearly a quarter of the opponent's rushing attempts, 9 to 42, have gained 10 yards or more, including four 20-plus yarders. Had us ranked 23rd last week, have us ranked 26th this week and then the lines had us ranked 25th last week we went down one spot to 26th this week said Carson Wentz started slow again before leading the comeback charge of Detroit 
His numbers 57 for 87, 650 passing yards, seven touchdowns, three interceptions, and a 100.3 passer rating. Look impressive to open the season, but he's far from consistent. Then the people that have us ranked 27th, NFL.com's Hansis had us ranked 24th last week, 27th this week. He said Carson Wentz did his part after a quiet first half. The Commanders won't win many games by asking their quarterback to be a do everything savior. Wentz got very little support from the running game, anemic for two weeks running, but the real culprit in Sunday's loss to Detroit was a defense that allowed a relaxed Jared Goff to throw for four touchdown passes without a pick in the Lions' run game to rumble for 191 yards. Wentz and the offense did their best to make things interesting after the commanders fell behind 22-0 at halftime, but the defense proved incapable of getting a big stop to shift the game's momentum. Get well soon, Chase Young. And then MMQB, ranked 22nd last week, 27th this week, said if this was another middling year for the Commanders, but Carson Wentz finished the season as a top 10 quarterback and was amendable to some kind of affordable extension at the season's end, do you consider that a victory as a fan of this fan base? So he posed the question. He didn't even have really an analysis or anything. That was just a straight up question. And then had us ranked 17th last week, but 26th this week, CBS Sports Prisco said the defense was awful against the Lions, which is not what you'd expect from the team. The Lions did what they wanted to do against them. I agree. Pro Football Talk had us ranked 23rd last week 27th this week they said they played well in one half of the game they decided to show up for and that, that's pretty funny and then the person that has us ranked the furthest down is fan sided baxter ranked 28th this week had us ranked 19th last week they said the franchise was seeking his first 2-0 start since 2011 as ron rivera's club traveled to the motor city where the commander's defense had all kinds of issues most notably in the first half and dug themselves in a 22-0 hole the team would rally in the second half but it wound up being too little too late Carson Wentz wound up throwing 337 yards and three scores, one interception. Washington defenders surrendered 425 total yards by the game's end. That's terrible. Also, to go back to what Bleacher Report said, who had us ranked 23rd, I thought something that they said was very interesting. They said the reality is that the Commanders barely nearly lost to the Jaguars in week one, a loss that would have made them 0-2 against teams that were 6-27-1 last year. Also, with the Giants finding ways to close out wins while the Commanders keep digging holes, it's not unreasonable to slot the Commanders in the back of the NFC East as of right now. And I can't argue against that, man. Through two weeks, we look like the worst team. The Cowboys with Cooper Rush, without Dak Prescott, and without a lot of players that they currently have hurt right now, found a way to beat the Bengals. The Giants, I don't care who they've played, are 2-0, and have actually looked pretty good doing so. And that Titans game may not have actually even been a fluke just based on how they look the next week. And then the Eagles just look like the best team in the NFC East and one of the most unstoppable teams in the entire NFL right now. So it's not looking good for us right now. It's not. But hopefully we get to a certain point where I'm doing these power ranking reviews and giving y'all where everybody feels like we stand. Hopefully we'll be somewhere in the teens soon if we can string together some wins. I mean, you beat the Eagles, it changes everybody's opinion. So hopefully next week when I do this again, this could be a more optimistic video. But as of right now, it's quite ugly. But yeah, man, that's the end of this video. Please get in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video. Please leave a like on this video if you liked it, if you learned anything. And as always, man, I appreciate all the support, man. Shouts out to all of my sponsors, especially my Pro Bowl sponsor. Who name you see scrolling on the screen right now. I'm going to catch y'all later. I'm out.